Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back through Day of the Crypto News and Analysis. And today we're going to be talking about an altcoin that I bought a lot more of today, as well as a lot of people in the Discord bought more of today. This isn't to pump it or anything like that. I'm just letting you guys know why I bought more of this asset. It's an asset that I've been talking about for a very long time on this channel, even at the bottom point of prices as well. And I think that this is an incredible opportunity for a lot of people to actually get into a project like this very early because the ROI potential on this could be absolutely life changing. So with that being said, we're just going to jump into it. We're going to be talking about this undervalued gem. And uh, with that being said, if you guys do enjoy daily crypto content and all that kind of stuff, definitely hit that like button, subscribe and turn notifications on and with that being said let's just jump into it so overall when we refresh this market things are looking fairly good you know Bitcoin is back up around 56 K mostly all coin market is kind of just sitting stable overall but I do specifically want to talk to you guys about DeFi the DeFi sector and the NFT sector of crypto is absolutely blowing up. For an example, the top DeFi tokens by market capitalization is around $128.5 billion. It is up 5.10% just over the last day. Now, the year-to-date percentages on a lot of these DeFi tokens are absolutely massive. First and foremost, we look at Phantom up 12,000%. We look up uh, bakery token, you know, around 12,000% almost. A lot of these assets do incredible moves. And again, we look at NFT based platforms and assets and, you know, they're doing incredible moves throughout this entire year. And a lot of these are absolute gems in the making. But when we look at something like Anchor having about a $651 million market cap, because, you know, to the circulating supply ratio, it's actually fairly similar to the one that we're going to be talking about. You know, this is up 844%, which isn't much, but we are still ranging to have this massive bull run, so it could do incredible moves. We also look at XPR up 600%. There's a lot of gems out there. Now, this gem that we are going to be talking about, we've talked about it before, Jigstack, sitting at about a $27.9 million market cap. When we're talking about this asset, $1.74 billion in circulating supply, 3 billion in total supply. But the interesting thing about this is that when we come over to the stack bank, which is where you could pretty much stake your tokens and all that kind of stuff, look at how much is All right, first off, we have the 3 billion total supply, right? But look at how much is locked up in staking right now. 722 almost 23 million staked already. Now if we look at the overall circulating supply, that means that there's almost 1 billion left in circulating supply that is not being staked. A massive amount of these assets, or I should say about the circulating supply, is already locked away in storage. This is what we talk about in regards to an asset that a lot of people understand the long-term viewpoints on something like this. This is a massive DeFi token, absolute undervalued gem. In the past, we've purchased at some lower price points, right? For example, in the last three months, we were purchasing down here at a fraction of a cent, pretty much below a half a cent, if you will. Uh, today, we purchased around, you know, pretty much this level, if you will. I didn't feel too bad at all about purchasing at this point. Yeah, sure, we could see a little bit lower. Technically speaking, we could even come down as low as about one, two cents, if you will, right? But overall, I didn't feel bad about adding here because when we look at the all-time chart, we know at some point in time this was at around 22 cents almost. Look at the look at this chart. When we look at undervalued gems on this on this uh, channel, we look at these massive zoomed out charts and it looks very good for a reversal in terms of price. Now in the last three months, we have been seeing the massive amount of holdings pretty much launching in the amount of wallets being held or addresses being held. This is huge, okay? And again, when we're talking about the number one supply holder here, this is the staking wallet as well as some of the other stuff in regards to, you know, pretty much just powering the ecosystem or just locked away in staking rewards. So the overall token tokenomics of this asset are incredible. Um, I've discussed that multiple times. And again, I'm not biased on this asset. I've, I've given you guys my viewpoints on, you know, the negative things on this asset, but... When we're talking about the weekly recap and what they are doing overall with the NFT-based platform that they are launching, aka the gallery, 
it looks very good long term. Also, we do see that they are releasing IDOs that are getting sold out all the time. We did see Depot get sold out, which I've discussed with you guys. Um, but we also seen another one uh, get, get sold out just recently as well, which was a newer one that got launched today. It's great to see. But we also see this, right? So this is that IDO that, that I was talking about. This um, It's transient. Uh, it's another IDO that just got sold out today in like the matter of like 90 minutes. But we look at this, the gallery partnering with Token Frame NFT. If you guys don't know what Token Frame NFT is, it's more so for physical NFTs. This is where you will essentially be able to have, you know, whatever you're purchasing in the in, in your house, right? So here is kind of a look at it, if you will. Um, pretty cool to see, but a lot of this is where you'll be able to get physical NFTs in your house, similar to, you know, if you own the digital version of it, you could own essentially the physical version of it as well, which I think is pretty cool, to be honest with you. I think that this is innovative for the NFT scene. And again, you could see that here if you want to read more about it. We do see here, you know, gallery and the token frame is the partnership that the NFT world has been waiting for with NFT art collections growing. So too is the increased desire to display those pieces in your home, office, lounge, etc. Imagine sitting in your living room and seeing your NFT collection displayed on your wall, similar to any traditionally displayed art. NFT artists, enthusiasts, and collectors are excited to see premium NFT art from gallery displayed in token frame. Token frame is ideal because it connects the digital world with the physical, feeling your desire to build and show your NFT collection. So I think that this is great to see. I think that this is a pretty cool partnership as well. And again, when we're talking about the NFT scene, I think that the NFT scene is going to continue to grow and actually get a lot bigger than it already is. And I think that that is great for the long-term um, price appreciation for a lot of these DeFi NFT projects as well. Now, again, we also seen Stack partnering with Matic, uh, which of course was, you know, sort of expected, if you will. This is to power the NFT, the gallery, essentially, uh, to have lower cost gas fees, as well as to really kind of, you know, bump up efficiency and scaling of it. Now, again, here we go. The team is considered implementing Polygon Matic in an effort to reduce gas fees priority on the gallery NFT before the first auction. Uh, subsequently rolled out to all jig stack products lemonade defy stack bank j wallet i think that this is great to lower all those gas fees right now to you know really kind of stake on jigs or on the stack bank it's fairly expensive due to gas fees i honestly hate gas fees i'm sure any anyone in the crypto community will concur with me but i think that this is great to see and again I'm a holder of Matic, and I think Matic is a great long-term project as well. Now, again, here we go. We have the depot being sold out, and, of course, Transient also got sold out fa fairly fast. Now, here is some updates in, re in, in regards to the, uh, the gallery as well. Now, in my personal opinion, I think that this is great. Uh, kind of sums up pretty much everything that is happening within the ecosystem. But what I'm excited to tell you guys about is uh, a lot more, right? First off, we come over here and we look at how fast this ecosystem is actually growing, but we also look at how fast a lot of these IDOs are getting, you know, swallowed up. For an example, sold out 90 minutes. This also allows for them to actually burn uh, about, I think it's like 20% fees as well. So this is great to see, you know, fee burns, which I think happens at the end of the month, I'm pretty sure. Um, but again, within the entire Jigstack ecosystem, I think the biggest project right now isn't stack bank it isn't the j wallet it isn't santa it isn't lemonade defy or, or any other any other thing like that this is the biggest piece of the pie and again i'm not biased because i am included in this all right yes i am launching my nfts on the gallery i've already told you guys about that a long time ago just because i think that it is great to see i am at no way getting paid to do jig stack you know videos or anything like that it is actually illegal for me to tell you that i am not if i am i'm not getting paid at all to make these videos uh i'm not biased on you know jig stack i told my discord i told everyone that i know uh that i was pretty much disappointed with the way that they went on with the gallery and i still am right i think that this is great to see you know in terms of publicity and getting the name out there but again when you come over to this website okay it's still all coming soon. Um, I wish that they wouldn't be promoting the gallery without having live, you know, projects on here. But I mean, this gives you guys a little bit of an in-depth view on what to expect from the gallery. For example, here is my collections, the Crypto Moon Boys. There's currently four on here. Uh, these are incredible, 
you know, overall projects that are going to be launching. And I'm not talking about mine. I'm not biased on mine at all. Trust me. I'm just talking about all of these. I think that these are all great to see overall. And again, when we're talking about the NFT place uh, in this market, if we just go to the NFT market uh, within this entire space, it is an absolute massive market sitting at about a $37.3 billion market cap. That is absolutely massive. And again, year-to-date percentages do not lie. If we click over here and go to the year-to-date percentages on a lot of these NFT assets, look at some of these major moves that some of these um, assets are doing. And disregard this uh, top one having a 252,000% of an increase in price. But look at these, right? 20,000, 11,800. Again, VRA doing incredible moves up 10,900%. This is what we're talking about. Sitting at about a $271 million market cap. Again, look at Jigstacks, $27.9 million, almost $28 million market cap. Extremely undervalued. And then when we look at all of these other ones, right? $9,500, $8,200. These are huge percentage gains. Okay. And when we're talking about what we could be seeing within this space okay just to give you guys a little bit of an insight okay at the current price of jig stack say for so we do the same move that vra did uh year to date which is you know ten thousand nine hundred percent okay at ten thousand nine hundred percent of the current price on um jig stack right that would be a total price by the end of this bull run sitting at about a dollar 49 all right that that's the gains that we could be seeing and this would be a hundred x from our current from our current point all right save or so you know we do what axie did all right axie did twenty thousand four hundred percent we would be at two dollars and 79 cents and save for so we just do something like you know chili's did chz right just a just a quick four fourteen hundred percent move. We would be at the all time high of nineteen cents. Okay, and when we're talking about the all time high, we could just go back to the home and kind of see that on the yearly chart, the all time high back here. This is saying about nineteen three two nine. Overall, once we get over this point and go into price discovery, the sky is the limit for Jig Stack. But I'm talking about these NFT projects because there is so much money flowing through the NFT sector because people realize the a massive amount of potential these NFTs have. And the NFT space is going to continue to boom, but Jigstack's not just focused on NFTs. They're also focused on DeFi. And when we're talking about DeFi coins, again, the year-to-date percentages do not lie, okay? A lot of these year-to-date percentages, even if we did the phantom run of 12,000%, we would be looking at a dollar 64 even on the low end you know we pull a, a, a luna 5700 percent 78 cents okay the the the, the possibilities for jig stack the end of this bull run if they can continue to do what they're doing okay and and, and i say that because i i truly believe in this team you know, if you're in the Discord and you talk to the team and you, you've been here along the ride for, you know, the delays with Jig Stack or the Stack Bank, I mean, you know, the delays through this team have been rough, all right? But they are still a new team. It's still a new project, but they are continuing to build great things day in and day out. And when you look at the ecosystem, okay, here is what to expect. First off, we already have Lemonade. We have Stack Bank. The next is, you know, probably the Gallery. But we also see the wallet, Santa, and Ethlink. There is so much still to come. A lot of these are already achieved, okay? But look at what is not achieved. All right, here we go. So when we come over here, we have the gallery launch. And this got delayed. I know, it sucks. Then we also have J Wallet, probably delayed until later on. But we also see Jigbridge V1, Ethlink V1, Milkshake V1, Lemonade V2.1, and V4. There's a lot more projects that are going to be released under the Jigstack umbrella. And I think that this ecosystem is going to ever grow. And I think that when we're talking about how minimal of an asset this is, sitting at about $1.74 in circulation, $3 billion in total supply, you know, at $10, this is worth $30 billion in market cap. At $10, it's worth 
from the circulating supply, $17.4 billion. All right, go to the cryptocurrencies scene. Look at what the valuations of some of these assets are in the top 25. Okay. You know, I think that when we're talking about $17 billion, it's not that hard to get to, especially in the long-term viewpoint. I understand that this year we, we might not see $10. That's totally fine. My end goal for Jigstack, though, is $10 at some point in time. And with how this market is prospering and growing day by day, $17 billion in market cap is not too far away for a lot of these assets. I think, you know, we're going to come back to a lot of these, you know, assets right now in the top 50. And these market caps are going to look extremely different. But even in the in the case that, you know, Digstack is just worth $5 billion in market cap or say for so it's worth, you know, just $1 billion. It's still going to be absolutely huge huge in terms of ROI percentages. So with that being said, I hope that kind of clarifies what has happened with Jigstack, gives you guys that insight and why I purchased more today. I think there is a lot more innovation and development to happen behind the scenes with Jigstack. I think that the team is solid. I think that these projects are solid and they could really disrupt a lot of the DeFi NFT sector and so forth. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. If you guys don't want more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. If you guys do want more content, you guys could always check out my website and cashofficial.com to see my personal exit strategies, my portfolio insights and all that kind of stuff. I also have this Ultimate Crusader Trading Bundle Pack for $60 that includes all future products for free as well as all the current products on the store right now. So with that being said, I hope that you all have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.